All right, second day in pads. Uh, I had to adjust schedules around a little bit with some of the lightning this morning, but, you know, uh, got outside, had a very, very energetic practice. Uh, I thought the kids, you know, took another step today, uh, second day in pads, and, uh, you know, we saw some uh, some things we did better today that we, you know, maybe a little rusty with yesterday, so it was a really positive day, and, just, you know, glad to get the practice in. So, uh, good way to end the first week, and uh, we'll take uh, an, an off day tomorrow from practice and come back on uh Monday uh, in shells, and then Tuesday, first day in full pads. Questions? So with the first week done now, what's the biggest thing you kind of learned through one week of fall practice here a little bit? Well, it's, it's obvious that we have a lot of returning experience because, you know, you got guys that, you know, know the system, know what's going on. I mean, again, we've talked about it a lot. I mean, even though some of those, those guys are younger guys, they're still experienced. And so, you know, it's not like, you know, you have, you're not having as many just flat busts not knowing the playbook, and we're putting a lot in, uh, you know, you, you're, you're able to clean things up and, hey, we need to, we need to play this, this way better. We need to make this adjustment right here. Um, so I'd say we're much farther along than we were day four last year. When you look at the D-line, specifically Elijah Morris, you know, Rick yeah. coming back, they played a lot last year. Yep. What's, the, what's the next step for them? Where do they need to go from here? Well, you know, I think that, you know, you talk about all of them, whether it's Rick, who's a little bit older. I mean, he is a third-year guy. Or Elijah, who just played a lot. Or the, a young guy like Jason Schufer that just played some at the end of the year. And, you know, each of them is improved upon what we saw last year. So, you know, what do you want to see? Well, you want to see a guy like Elijah or Jason, you know, be more consistent down after down after down. You know, Rick, a guy with his, you know, kind of explosive ability, you know, you want to see him become more of a playmaker and uh, not just a steady guy, but a guy that makes explosive plays, which I think he has the opportunity to. And, you know, I'm pleased with some of the things that those guys have done. I mean, I thought Jason Schufert had a, a really solid day today at the nose uh, and really gave uh, gave the offense, the second offense, some fits there. As you put on shoulder pads on Tuesday, you'll get the full pads. Does, does yeah. the defense kind of pick up intensity or kind of, kind of elevate their game at all? Or, or no? Well, I think, I think both sides do. You know, it's... Um, you know, I think that, you know, our offensive line, we're not a finesse group anymore. You know, it's, uh, you know, they're a, they're a pretty down and dirty bunch. And, you know, certainly the defense, and, you know, now we're not tagging off. You know, you got the, the contact. And, and still, it's, it's not live, you know. And so, you know, those guys, they do, they do, you know, take care of each other best they can, you know. But they're trying to, you know, they're trying to get those pretty big licks in thud tempo. So it'll be good when we get to go live so you get to really see them uh, you know, be able to play full speed. Coach, I noticed, especially in early on, the energy was, was really high. Yeah. Have you noticed that this first week as opposed to last year when you were doing things on Zoom and you were kind of separated and all that? Is, have you noticed a, a higher level of energy now that everyone can kind of get together like this? Well, I just think our camaraderie is really good coming out of the summer. You know, being able to spend the whole summer together and, uh, you know, the training with the strength staff and all that stuff. So, you know, the, they feel very, you know, connected right now. But, uh, yeah, I thought we had great energy and we had a – you know, we had a pretty long uh, delay sitting in here this morning, so I was really pleased that they came out with that kind of energy this morning. We talked about it, but still, you know, they got to go out and do it. Are you writing all these rainy days down in your book so you can get with folks and get that indoor thing? Absolutely. <laughs> we, we joked about it. Pat Dye was told he was getting one, so. No, it, it, you have to have one. I said it before. Uh, you know, we, got, we were disrupted last night, uh, not able to function the way we would have if we had uh, a facility. Um, you know, and it's... You know, when you get get everybody back, you know, basketball's got their space, volleyball's got their space, and, you know, other sports have their space. And, you know, it, when, when lightning comes, you can't do anything about it. So, you know, for the program to continue to, uh, you know, to move forward, uh, it's it's not a want. It's a very much a need. If you get one, you gonna, do you want to put it over the turf field or over where the I'll let, I'll let the administration worry about where it goes. I just need a place to practice. Yesterday you praised Holden and talked about him. What about the guys behind him, Mason and Flynn? Where are they kind of at? Um, if you, if you didn't well, I thought Mason had a better day today. Um, you know, he's he's starting to get more comfortable standing in the pocket. Um, you know, the defense. You know, we put in some of our uh, you know some more of our pressure stuff today. So he had some guys buzzing around him there in the pocket, and they did a good job standing in there. Didn't panic. Uh, made some good throws under pressure. Um, you know, Alex got a good bit of reps today also uh, and did some solid things. And that's, you know, Alex is always going to be steady. Uh, and for him, it's just, you know, you know got to make sure we don't make that big mistake. You know, and so uh, I think both of those guys are coming along. You know, Walt, 
Uh, Walt Simmons, uh, you know, he got uh, he got some reps there during team today, and I'll tell you what, now he's a he's a great athlete. Uh, he, he he can really go. Now his feet are uh, you know definitely one of his best attributes. The receiver transfers you guys brought in. I know it's early, but have any of those guys made plays like Saunders, Patterson, anything like that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Jari's probably the farthest along. Um, I think the challenge for those guys, with all of them coming uh, during the summer, is going to be picking up the playbook. Uh, you know enough to play early in the season. Um, I think you could see uh, see them play later on in the season. But you know, it's uh, it's not exactly like you're sitting here with a cupboard that wasn't you know have some pieces in it. So it's you know they're going to have to really play well to get on the field because you know those other guys are playing at a very very high level right now. Coach, you mentioned getting into the pads next week. Yeah. Is there any one particular area you're most curious to see as you kind of progress along here in week two? Well, I mean, it's it's going to be just, you know, just what, you know, the point of contact there, you know, those situations where, you know, it's it's the short yardage, just the, you know, the inside the 10-yard line, just what both sides really look like in those situations because that's the stuff you can't you can't simulate um, out there in thud tempo. Um you know, there's some one-on-one stuff in the open field, too, because, you know, it's a little bit uh, unfair, I'd say, a little bit to the defense with some of our skill kids to, you know, they can't take their shot in the open field. And, you know, they those skill kids on offense make them look pretty silly sometimes. So, and that's and they talk to them about it, and they tell them about it. It just pisses the defense off. So, you know, next week they get the, the equalizer of being able to go, uh, you know, go full go. You talk about their position players. Tyler Sneed's a guy that started out kind of, Branding himself on work ethic, and that's carried over to the rest of the team. Now that he's an experienced guy, yeah, how is he stepping up even further? Well, he just—you can always count on him. Man, that's Mr. Mr. Reliable right there. You're going to get the same kid every day, and uh, he's his own worst critic. Uh, he's never t- going to take a play off. Uh, he's the ultimate competitor, uh, and he's just—I mean, he—he's—he's he's a good one. Now he's—he's he's one that you love to have on your football team, and you sit back there as a coach and you say, if you had. 118 of that, you know, what kind of team would that be? You know, it's, uh, so he's just, he's a great leader for our team and a great playmaker.